Greetings to everyone out there and welcome back to Around the Clock. All right, everybody, ever since it was officially announced or discovered on the internet that Tears of the Kingdom will be $69.99, a lot of people were upset, but I've seen a lot of fake controversy on the internet and it just doesn't make sense. Now, despite this game being $70, this game is already the best selling video game of 2023 on Amazon.com. And here's the evidence of this on your screens here. Now, the only standalone games that come close to this are Hogwarts Legacy and Metroid Prime Remastered. This just goes to show you that it doesn't matter about the price of the game. It matters about what the fan base thinks about the game. And from what I've seen online, people are raving about Tears of the Kingdom and they can't wait to get this game in their hands. From all of the footage that we've seen so far, this game looks to be the best first party game on the Switch hands down. I mean, come on, there's so much new things to do in this game. There's so much mystery about this game that we don't know about so far, except for theories. But man, this game, Tears of the Kingdom, is going to blow people away. And I said this in my live stream during the last direct that Tears of the Kingdom is going to be game of the year of 2023. If it's not, we know that the Game Awards is rigged. Now, like I said at the beginning of this video, there is a lot of fake outrage over Tears of the Kingdom being $70. Now, if you have a problem with it being $70 and you have a justified reason, then hey, that's you. But right now, I'm specifically talking about these large YouTubers who make thousands of dollars on the internet each month and they say that Nintendo is not justified charging their customers $70 for this game. Are you kidding me? If you go to the eShop listing for Tears of the Kingdom, this game's file size is 18.2 gigabytes. That makes this the biggest first party Switch game ever and this game's file size is bigger than Breath of the Wild and the expansion pass for Breath of the Wild combined because those two combined make up for 15.7 gigabytes of storage so clearly Tears of the Kingdom is a way more massive game and we don't even know if there's going to be DLC included. Hopefully it is but we don't know that as of yet. Now there is one last thing that I do want to point out with a couple of examples because with Breath of the Wild to get the full experience, although this game is on sale right now in the eShop, to get the full experience if this game was not on sale, you'll be paying $79.98, roughly $80 for the game plus tax. And that's with all of the DLC included. I don't see people complaining about that. For Smash Ultimate, that game is $59.99. And if you want to add on Fighters Pass 1 and Fighters Pass 2, that's an additional $55, making this game with Fighters Pass 1 and Fighters Pass 2 $115 plus tax. Millions of people gladly paid that price tag, I know I did. And finally, my last example is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe plus the Booster Course Pass DLC. That game plus the Booster Course Pass is $84.98 plus tax. Nobody's complaining about that. As a matter of fact, people are loving the Booster Course Pass for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So I don't see what the deal is with Tears of the Kingdom. Maybe it's because the $70 price tag is right in your face and not split up into DLC packages. I don't know, but the argument really doesn't make sense. Anyway, with that being said, that's going to do it for this video. And please, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And as always, remember to keep it locked here at Around the Clock, where here, we focus on Nintendo news content around the clock. I'll catch you guys in the next video.